Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Now we are alive together. And why am I saying live together? Because I feel like uh, a lot of things are coming to fruition. So as we come closer to Thanksgiving, you know, what's coming into my mind? Giving thanks, being grateful. So first and foremost, I want to say thank you. And I am grateful to each and every one of you that shows up and has been part of my Heal Talk Tuesdays for either very short time or has been a part of Heal Talk Tuesday for a long time. I know one of my supporters has been with me for the longest time, like a cheerleader for the last four years. And I got a message saying, you have no idea how much you have impacted my life, Lisa. And that's why I wanted to say thank you to you. And I am grateful to each and every one of you. So with that, how often do you stop and are grateful about everything that is in your life? Truly, life is amazing. When we think about it, and I know um, when I think about it, this Monday, day to day, with the bills, with the family, with the shopping, with the work, with taking care of yourself and everything, sometimes you may be just like me. We get so combodulated and lost in our own world, we forget about everything else, and yet life is so precious. It is. Every essence of you is so precious if you think about it and take care of yourself, pamper yourself and uh, realize that you do matter. And I know I speak about this a lot of how we evoke certain things in our life, how certain things, sounds, scents, uh, what you hear, what you see, what you feel uh, just um, touches upon you and you feel something and it, it evokes an emotion it, it you emote something because there was a trigger and yet when you come to embrace the reality embrace the essence of who you are not your labels not the labels placed on a um, by others or even by yourself you know I was talking to a client of mine and we were talking about the labels that she took upon herself from long time ago. And because of what she thought, they shamed her, they made her feel guilty because of certain things that when she was uh, going through a dating uh, situation and now that she's already married over 14 years, she's like, I don't know why I was still holding on to that guilt of letting go of my other boyfriend to be where I am today. And I am so happy to with my husband. And did I deserve it? And see, that's the whole thing. How long do you keep on a past feeling, a past shame, a past guilt, and you hold on to that label and you place that in a bottle, it's like, it's a potent, uh, this is my medicine. And yet not realizing that what you thought, it's a medicine, it's nothing but a poison and it's been poisoning you. And emotionally, mentally, psychologically, spiritually, you've been holding on to a nothing but a poison inside this bottle and you've been taking it everywhere with you as it is as if it matters and yet that's the only thing that the potency was what you gave it so my question to you is has there been a time and a uh, time and a situation in your past that it is truly a past it is already gone forgotten except you've been holding on to it either in a memory 
or in a writing or if it was a label that you took it upon yourself or was said and you took it as if that's what they said and you believed it and because you believed it because you gave this poison potency it became a drug of choice for you to bottle your emotions, your feelings, your thoughts, your ideas, and believe what they said and gave this bottle that you labeled more importance than who you are. You see, so many of us feel as if we are stuck in the past, stuck with certain behaviors or stuck with a habit and you cannot change a habit and here i am letting you know that perhaps that label on that bottle was placed by you and it was nothing but penicillin and you put the label of poison on it wrong labeling can distort destroy not only you but what it's in that. So you forget about your goodness, your lovingness, your sensitivity, your grace, your intelligence, and you believe on that label. So today, sit back, evoke a lot of things, sit back and write, sit back and journal, thoughts, ideas, concepts, images, behaviors, habits that you have been repeatedly, repetition, repetition, doing it and thinking that you are in a rut. Maybe you think that I am in a cycle and I can't get out of this cycle. I've been doing this for so long and I can't change it. When you think you can't, that's another label you placed on yourself. If you were the bottle and you've got all this goodness inside you, intelligent in, uh, instincts, a good instinct about who you are, your grace, your beauty, your kindness, and you know you have it, but feel as if you can't get out of this, it's nothing but what you believe. So I want to smash those beliefs, the wrong labels, the wrong belief system that you placed upon yourself. As a matter of fact, if you're interested, I'm putting a course. Hmm. I'm putting a course together to smash all self-limiting beliefs. I'm putting a course together that you get to evoke what was, embrace your reality right here today, who you are, the best in you, so that you can evolve to the best version of what you want to be, the best you. And remember, you have been able to manifest so much in your life. Yes, you. You have manifested a lot. As a matter of fact, I might even say, that if you believe those wrong labels that I can't, I'm inadequate, I have no ability, I will not be able to, those are also things that you believed, you manifested those too. Because whatever you put uh, a potency, whatever you put your full attention on that, that becomes your reality. So today, I, I don't want to say challenge you, but that's the best word. To sit down and say, what is it that you would like the new you to be? The new feeling you want to manifest. The new thoughts, ideas, the way you want to live, the way you want to have a relationship, the way you want to show up in life, the way you want your body to be. And it doesn't matter if it's good, the bad, the right, the wrong. It doesn't matter. Stop judging of it can't happen. Just write what it is that you want. Not what you don't want, 
of what it is that you want. Do you want a happier relationship? Do you want your relationship to be better? Do you want your relationship with your children better? Do you want your communication with your family members better? Do you want someone who is not feeling good better? And it's not so much why, but the idea of, if I were to manifest something in my life, what do I want? What do I want to feel? What do I want to function as? Who do I want to be? You know, sometimes they say, who do you want to be when you grow up? Well, if you are here, if you are listening, I believe you're already grown up. But if I say next year, you will be one year wiser, more grown up than today. What does that person look like? And if you were in November of 2022 and you look back and you watch this, just this episode of who do I want to be and look at me where I am today. It is November 2022, and as I look back, who did I become? What is my life? What did I evoke in myself? What part of me and what my life did I come to embrace and realize that everything that has been a part of my life, not only I may have placed the label today I look back and I peeled away labels that are no longer worthy of me. I peeled away labels that I thought I thought I was inadequate. I thought it can't happen and look at where I am. And it doesn't matter if it is 10,000 times bigger or just a tad more because every step Every step, every move towards you and what you want in your life matters. You know, the ones who come over here and they say, you know what? I feel anxious. I am overweight. I am smoking or vaping or I cannot sleep. I cannot do that. I lack confidence. I have this or that. That's fine. What do you want to feel? What do you want to do? That is where I take you. And I want you to do the same today. I want you to look back to 2021 as if one year has passed. Who did you become? Did you write all the things that you were today? Because no matter what, I want you to realize if it was a habit, it didn't start on its own. You picked it up. You held on to it. And you repeated it. And perhaps it's now a part of your behavior. And if this behavior is something that you want to change, or maybe you know someone who wants to change a behavior, a habit, and if there is a dis-ease, a discomfort that is within them or surrounding them, by all means, if you want to peel it off, if you want to let it go, if you are ready to evoke it, and embrace the reality of where you are to be whatever it is that you want to create and manifest in your life, then let's talk because you can. I myself did not believe in, in all this. I did it. And you know, as a kid, I grew up, everything that I wanted, my parents would not give it to me when I asked for it, but they would give it to me. I thought because I earned it. No, it's because they gave it to me as a gift, as a reward when 
I came to do the things I said I would. You're not giving it to me? Well, by golly, I will go and make it happen. And just because of doing it, just for putting the effort in having it, I got it. I remember being in school and I grew up uh, in an all girls school before I came to America and we used to have volleyballs and we used to put it in the net and it was a big thing having my own volleyball my own ball and even hanging it I remember the pride of having my own ball in the net hanging it next to my desk uh, that when we would go during recess that I would walk and say, I have a ball, let's play. And you know, it's not so much about the ball, but I came to realize that it was one way of saying, come and play with me, I have a ball, because I was an only child. And it's like whoever had the ball, people attracted to that person that had the ball. And for me, having a ball means now I get to have people or other girls come and play with me. And we are playing dodgeball or we're playing volleyball. So that the essence was never about the ball. It was not the pride of having a ball. It was being with people is about having this instrument that gathered people together. And today I gather in different ways, not only having a course and a workshop coming in the next two weeks, but next year having the 3E event, having more workshops, having a retreat by the end of next year, everything is that net, is that bringing people together, coming to you every single week and for you to realize what kind of an instrument are you? What kind of a label has been placed upon you either by others or you took it upon yourself that it's time for you to peel it away and come to realize it was not about the ball, it was not about the net, but the essence, the meaning that it had, not only for that little girl, but for you, not only for that little boy, but for you, who you are and why you held on to certain things and what each one means to you. Who you have become because of the past and instead of holding on to it, you realize it, you blossom, you break through and you let go to be who you are and what you want to become. So in a way, I want today's message to be, I am who I am because of, but it doesn't mean I stay. And give yourself permission, truly give yourself permission to unravel, to see, to evoke because the past is not going to come and hurt you today because whatever it is, it's already done. What can you do about it today? Keep the best and dump the rest, <laughs> right? You are so worthy of a better thing, a better way a better feeling, a happier you, a healthier you. And that is not because I say so, because you do matter. I want you to know that. And I know you know it. I know you know it. So if there is any way I can help you speed it up, 
for you to recognize it, for you to evoke it, embrace it, and help you evolve to where you want to be faster, tapping into your subconscious, which is the beautiful reservoir of everything. Sometimes we do things without realizing, ah, so that's why my ball in a net, ah, that's why. It was never about the ball, but the meaning of what the ball had. Hmm? As a matter of fact, when I was a kid, I didn't even realize it. I got to realize it only when I grew up. When I had to think of the ball is just a metaphor. And in life, there are so many metaphors, like the ocean is a metaphor a tree can be a metaphor a rock is a metaphor and if you have a i don't have it this beautiful tree you know it's named as the money tree as the blossoming of manifesting goodness success abundance it's a metaphor right so realize what if everything that you have experienced was a metaphor to where you are today? And what is it that we can do with that metaphor? Change it, shift it, and for you to take that best version and manifest what you want. Today is a day for you to be grateful. As a matter of fact, next week, our session is going to be all about gratefulness and I'm going to do a mini hypnosis. So if you are interested, by all means, let me know, show up, let everyone know. We're going to do a mini hypnosis of gratefulness and honing it in within you. A sense of serenity, a sense of grace, a sense of beauty, and not only honing it, but awaken it. Awakening who you already are. With that, close your eyes for a moment and say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. To every essence of who you are. And I want to thank you and I am grateful to you and if this message was beneficial to you by all means share it click below subscribe and move forward in life knowing you can thank you for being a part of heal talk Tuesdays today use the metaphor and know that even this universe that you are part of is the playground for you to expand and blossom. My name is Lisa. I'm your expert hypnotherapist that helps you heal from within. God bless you and may the universal light surround you. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. And if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago,